Today we are adding a new animal to our homestead and I can't wait to show you what it is. Hey guys and welcome back to Mini Urban Farm. Today I am doing a quick unboxing of my quail eggs video. Um, I have wanted to add quail to our um, our little mini urban farm for years now and our quail eggs right here They have finally arrived. So first things first we ordered 50 eggs from my entire farm online um, I will leave the link in the description. This is not a sponsored video or anything, but they were just the the most reputable um, Company that I could find to order quail eggs They also have a YouTube channel with a lot of um, helpful information on raising your own quail So I will leave all of that in the description box below, um, but let's just jump right into it All right, so right off the bat, um, this was the original packaging. This is um, one of the other boxes that it was packaged in, and then this is another package with packing peanuts inside of it. All right, so we have the hatching guide right here, the instructions on how to actually hatch everything and you know how long you should let them rest and all that stuff. I think this is probably not the way you're supposed to do it, but I can't really get the other box out. So, all right, so here are my eggs. They come in like this little styrofoam thing. Um, you can tell at the bottom, like that's the, that's the eggs here. I'm trying not to let them all fall out of the bottom. All right, so right off the bat, I can tell um, there are actually more eggs in here. I ordered 50 eggs and I got 60 eggs. And so according to the hatching guide right here, I'm supposed to let them rest for 12 to 24 hours. Um, so I was actually planning on putting them right in the incubator, but I'm going to leave them here on the countertop for a little bit. Um, definitely out of reach of Milo so he can't eat them. So these are going in the quail racks of my incubator. Now I actually have um, an automatic egg turner and it's meant for chicken eggs, right? Or turkey eggs, so larger size eggs. But I actually got specific rails that you can get um, for quail eggs, right? So you have more quail eggs in the incubator um, but it has like a smaller slot so the quail eggs don't move around and ultimately break So during this resting period where you have to let your eggs sit for a little bit I will turn on the incubator um, set it to 99.5 degrees as per the instructions um, for hatching quail That's a little bit different than chicken chicken is I believe hundred point five plus or minus a couple of like a tenth of a degree or something So I usually keep my chicken eggs on 100.5 these quail eggs will go to 99.5 with 40 to 50 percent humidity um, which is also different than chicken. So I'll set up the quail egg racks, I will set up the incubator, let that sit for six or seven hours, and then we will be putting our quail eggs to incubate for the next 18 days. All right, so you are supposed to let them rest like I already mentioned, but I did wanna show you guys, if you guys have never seen quail eggs, um, this is what quail eggs look like. They are approximately an inch or so big. Um, they have all the speckles over them, they have the pointy side just like other types of eggs. So you will be placing them this way while they rest that is the way that they come in the um, in the box already so just make sure that if you're incubating them while they rest they have to be pointy side down but they are so cute oh my gosh thank you there's a pointy side i'm being gentle with the breeze well almost done well that one's a big one huh it doesn't almost fit in there all right, here we go. This is a big one. Thank you. Pointy side. Look at the pointy side. That's the pointy side. Good job. You gonna read the instructions? Yes. What does it say? It says, this one cracked it. This one didn't crack and this one didn't crack. Then this one didn't crack at all. This one didn't crack at all. This one didn't crack. Our chicks started hatching on around day 15 and kept hatching for the next five days. 
Overall, we got about a 40% hot rate, but I think that was mostly due to the fluctuating humidity since I kept opening the incubator to check up on them, and because I noticed at about day 5 that the egg turner wasn't actually plugged in. Oops. And one week later, our chicks are doing well and growing out their feathers. Okay, so just some tips that I would definitely recommend if you're going to be incubating eggs. Um, I have only incubated chicken eggs, but I think these tips probably apply for no matter what type of eggs you are incubating. My best recommendation that I can give you is to use an automatic egg turner, especially for quail eggs because quail eggs are so teeny tiny, um, you would have to turn them three or four times a day. And I am incubating now 60 quail eggs. Um, turning them three times a day is going to be such a nightmare. So I would definitely recommend an automatic egg turner, which does the job for you. I will leave the link um, to the quail rails that I have specifically that matches my incubator. It is a farm innovators incubator um, that I have had such great success with my last batch of or my last um, clutch I think you call it of chickies um, that I hatched chicken eggs out of was 100% hatch rate so um, I, I don't do everything perfect right I definitely know that but 100% hatch rate is not too shabby um, for you know I think it was like the third or fourth time that I've incubated eggs so hopefully we'll get a really high hatch rate on these quail eggs as well and if you want to watch my first time hatching out chicks Oh my god, it was the cutest thing, or at least I thought it was the cutest thing. We woke up and we had about five new chicks um, in the morning and then just followed by, I think it was like 10 or 15 the next day. Um, I break down the exact numbers for you. Um, I break down the incubator setup, all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in incubating eggs, go definitely watch that video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more chicken videos, more quail videos coming up soon. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.